After years of speculation, Elon Musk has finally addressed what many have been waiting for, Tesla's most affordable electric car yet, the Model Q. And here's the surprise. It's arriving sooner than anticipated. Tesla has officially announced that the Model Q will make its debut in the second quarter of 2025, marking a pivotal moment for the EV market. Priced at under $25,000, this new model is set to lower the barrier of entry for electric vehicle ownership, making sustainable transportation accessible to a wider audience. But the big question remains, can Tesla really deliver on such an aggressive price tag? And how exactly are they keeping costs so low? While Musk and his team had hinted at a low-cost vehicle in the past, it wasn't until the fourth quarter earnings report in 2024 that details became concrete. During that announcement, Tesla executives reaffirmed their goal of democratizing electric mobility without compromising the performance, technology, and quality that define the brand. With global competition heating up and government regulations tightening around emissions, the timing for this rollout couldn't be more ideal. So what's Tesla's formula for making the Model Q affordable? It's a combination of cutting-edge manufacturing, smarter material use, and a business model that cuts out the middleman. Tesla plans to leverage existing vehicle platforms, blending proven components with new innovations. This approach saves significantly on development costs and allows the company to accelerate production timelines. Volume will also play a major role. The Model Q is being engineered as a high-volume, mainstream vehicle. Tesla's gigafactories in Texas and Shanghai will serve as the primary manufacturing centers, with possible expansion into new regions like India or Latin America to meet growing demand in those markets. Naturally, some are skeptical about whether a sub dollar 25 k Tesla can uphold the brand's reputation for performance and innovation. But Tesla leadership remains confident. They say the Model Q will still deliver quick acceleration, intuitive software, and the smooth driving experience Tesla fans have come to expect. While the cabin may opt for more basic materials and minimal luxury features, the car's essence won't be lost. On the design front, the Model Q will take cues from the Model Y, but in a more compact and budget-conscious form. Rather than building something entirely new, Tesla is refining its existing architecture to strike a balance between cost efficiency and brand integrity. Expect a familiar aerodynamic profile, though the vehicle will likely skip high-end extras like Falcon wing doors in favor of simpler, practical solutions. Inside the cabin, Tesla's minimalist approach continues. Much like the interiors of the Model 3 and Model Y, the Model Q is expected to feature a clean dashboard with a central touchscreen managing nearly all functions. Traditional buttons will be largely eliminated to streamline assembly and cut down on expenses. Despite early speculation, the Model Q probably won't include the yoke steering wheel, instead sticking to a more conventional design for broader appeal. Importantly, safety won't be sacrificed in the name of affordability. Tesla has emphasized that the Model Q will meet the same rigorous safety standards as its pricier counterparts. Buyers can expect structural crash protection, advanced airbag systems, and a standard suite of driver assist features. Basic autopilot will likely be included, with additional features unlockable via software updates. Given its compact design, the Tesla Model Q will need to make smart use of interior space. It's expected to comfortably accommodate five passengers and provide a functional rear cargo area for everyday needs. Tesla is also likely to keep the front trunk, affectionately known as the frunk, a popular feature across its lineup that adds extra convenience for drivers. Under the hood, or rather beneath the floor, the Model Q will benefit from Tesla's extensive experience in electric vehicle engineering. It will be based on a flexible new platform that mixes proven parts from current models with updated components designed to enhance performance and efficiency. The aim is to offer the kind of quick acceleration and low energy usage Tesla is known for without inflating production costs. Tesla is on a mission to show that a high-quality EV doesn't have to come with a premium price tag. Still, entering the affordable EV market comes with its own set of challenges. More and more automakers are eyeing this segment, 
Recognizing the growing demand from budget-conscious consumers, Chevrolet, for example, is gearing up to relaunch the Bolt in 2025. Following earlier issues related to battery safety, the new version promises improved range, faster charging, and a price that may undercut $30,000, making it a direct challenger to the Model Q. Chevy also has a well-established dealer network and customer support system, areas where Tesla is still playing catch-up. Honda is also making a strong push into this space with its upcoming Zero Series, a fresh lineup of compact EVs built for the mass market. While the company was slower to embrace electrification, it now appears fully committed, and its long-standing reputation for durability and low maintenance could work to its advantage. These vehicles are expected to land in the $25,000 to $30,000 range, putting them squarely in competition with Tesla's offering. Ford, meanwhile, has signaled intentions to release an affordable small EV, though it likely won't hit the roads until after 2027. While Tesla has long been a trailblazer in the EV space, it's becoming clear that maintaining a lead will require more than early entry. It'll take constant innovation. To truly rise above the competition, the Model Q will need to deliver something special. Whether it's class-leading range, next-gen tech features, or an unmatched driving experience. The battle for dominance in the entry-level EV market is just heating up, and Tesla is ready to defend its position at the top. Ford is making significant strides in its transition to electric vehicles, building credibility with successful offerings like the Mustang Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning. These models have proven that Ford has the ability to compete in the high-performance EV segment. If the company can introduce a compact electric car that hits the sweet spot between cost and quality, it could pose a real challenge to Tesla's market dominance. Still, an even more formidable challenge may be coming from China. Chinese manufacturers such as BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are not only dominating their domestic EV market, but are also gaining ground globally. BYD, in particular, has introduced models like the Dolphin and Seagull at highly attractive prices, some projected to fall below $20,000. If these vehicles make their way into North American and European markets with competitive pricing and decent specs, they could disrupt the segment Tesla is targeting with the Model Q. Performance metrics like range and charging speed will be crucial in determining which EVs stand out as the competition heats up. Many of Tesla's rivals are pouring resources into advanced battery technologies, solid-state designs, and ultra-fast charging solutions that could drastically shorten charge times and boost daily usability. For Tesla to maintain its edge, the Model Q must match or exceed these advancements, especially since charging convenience and infrastructure reliability remain sticking points for many potential EV buyers. Where Tesla continues to shine is in how it delivers the driving experience. One standout feature could be the remarkable cabin quietness. Anyone familiar with a Model Y knows Tesla has invested heavily in minimizing external noise through layered acoustic glass, improved insulation, and refined interior materials to create a peaceful, immersive ride. But this almost total silence isn't universally loved. For some drivers, the lack of ambient noise can feel unnatural, highlighting even minor mechanical sounds like motor whines or interior rattles. It raises the question, will Tesla replicate this level of soundproofing in the Model Q or tweak it to make the experience more balanced? This becomes especially relevant in city environments, where complete silence may actually be a drawback. In areas bustling with foot traffic, cyclists, and emergency vehicles, a car that's too quiet could present safety risks due to limited external audio cues. If Tesla wants the Model Q to appeal to a broader customer base, including new EV adopters and urban commuters, it will need to weigh cabin tranquility against situational awareness. One possible path forward could be the development of an adaptive sound management system. Tesla already uses features like Joe Mode to limit in cabin noise for passenger comfort. Extending that idea, the Model Q could feature a dynamic audio environment, allowing more outside noise in during city driving and toning it down on quieter roads. This kind of intelligent acoustic control could strike an ideal balance between comfort and safety. 
on highways. The Model Q could continue Tesla's tradition of offering a whisper-quiet cabin, ensuring a smooth and tranquil driving experience. But when navigating urban environments, where awareness of sounds like honking horns, emergency sirens, or nearby cyclists is vital, Tesla might consider allowing certain external noises to filter inside the cabin. Alternatively, the brand could use its advanced audio systems to simulate a more vibrant soundscape. Some automakers are already experimenting with smart audio technologies that selectively relay crucial outside sounds to enhance driver awareness without sacrificing comfort. Tesla could adopt a similar approach by using the vehicle's speakers to subtly amplify key environmental cues, all while preserving the refined interior ambience Tesla owners have come to expect. Still, sound control is only one part of what will define how the Model Q drives. Tesla must ensure this more affordable EV lives up to the brand standards for performance. Offering quick acceleration, agile handling, and that unmistakable feeling of connection with the road. Even though this model is expected to be cost-effective, it shouldn't compromise the thrill or quality of the driving experience. Beyond its existing strongholds in the U.S., Europe, and China, Tesla now seems to be turning its focus to another enormous and fast-evolving market, India. This isn't speculation anymore. Numerous credible sources indicate that Tesla is preparing to enter the Indian market by the third quarter of 2025, with the Model Q likely serving as its lead product. Given its compact design and lower cost, the Model Q appears well-suited for India's traffic-heavy cities and narrower roads. Although India is one of the world's most populous nations, its transition to electric vehicles is still in the early phases. High purchase prices and limited access to public charging have slowed wider EV adoption. However, government efforts are underway to accelerate progress, including policy incentives and tax cuts for EV manufacturers willing to invest in local production. Tesla seems ready to seize the moment. Following a meeting between Elon Musk and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Tesla has started advertising job openings in India, from showroom managers to logistics roles. These steps suggest the company is laying the groundwork for a tangible presence, likely beginning in key cities like Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore, areas with rising interest in EVs. So, could the Model Q be Tesla's breakthrough vehicle in India? There are several reasons to think so. Its smaller form factor makes it highly practical for India's crowded urban areas. More significantly, its projected price, approximately 2.1 million rupees or about $25,000, could make Tesla a real option for India's expanding middle class. Add to that the long-term savings EVs offer in fuel and maintenance, especially important in a country where gas prices remain high and the Model Q starts to look like a smart proposition. If Tesla can deliver reliable service and expand its charging infrastructure across India, it may gain a strong foothold in the country's growing EV market. But success won't come easily. Domestic players like Tata Motors and Mahindra already have affordable EVs tailored for Indian buyers, and Chinese competitors like BYD are also eyeing the market with lower-cost alternatives. For Tesla to succeed, it must deliver a compelling combination of innovation pricing, and dependable customer support. Entering the Indian market is a major step, but sustaining growth, there will be a longer, more complex journey. Regulatory barriers, high import taxes, and the urgent need for localized infrastructure present serious challenges. One potential solution might be building a dedicated manufacturing facility, Giga India. But whether this ambitious goal can become reality remains to be seen. Tesla has long faced a significant challenge in India due to the country's high import taxes on electric vehicles. Until recently, bringing cars into India could incur duties as steep as 110% of the vehicle's value, making Tesla's cars unaffordable for many potential buyers. However, in 2024, India revised its import regulations to encourage foreign automakers to enter the market. Import duties were reduced to approximately 70%, and new policies now offer incentives for companies that choose to manufacture locally. This shift in policy has created an opportunity for Tesla to establish a strong foothold in India. 
The concept of setting up a manufacturing facility in India is not a new one. Elon Musk has openly acknowledged that producing vehicles locally would be vital for keeping prices competitive and making Tesla's cars more affordable for Indian consumers. A local factory would help Tesla bypass high import taxes, simplify logistics, and tailor its vehicles to meet local demand. Additionally, local production would make Tesla eligible for government incentives, further lowering the cost of models like the upcoming Model Q. Several states are vying to host Tesla's potential manufacturing plant. Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, and Gujarat are often mentioned as contenders, thanks to their robust industrial infrastructure, established supply chains, and proximity to major ports. These regions also host plants from other international automakers, making it easier for Tesla to enter the market and scale its production quickly. If Tesla proceeds with this plan, the impact would extend well beyond the company's financials. A new factory would create thousands of jobs, both directly and indirectly, while significantly boosting India's electric vehicle sector. This economic benefit could also incentivize the Indian government to offer Tesla even more support and advantages. However, Tesla will not have an easy path. Indian companies like Tata Motors and Mahindra have already secured their positions with affordable electric vehicles made locally. Additionally, Chinese automakers such as BYD and MG Motor are expanding their reach, offering competitive, budget-friendly options. To stand out, Tesla will need to maintain its reputation for high quality while adopting an efficient, cost-effective production model and keeping prices aggressive. Another obstacle Tesla will face is the lack of sufficient charging infrastructure. Many potential Indian EV buyers are reluctant to make the switch due to limited access to charging stations. To address this, Tesla may need to invest in expanding its supercharger network across the country, similar to what it has done in other markets. The key challenge will be whether Tesla is prepared to absorb these initial costs in exchange for securing a long-term presence in India. If everything goes as planned, the Model Q could become the first Tesla vehicle to be produced in India and potentially one of the company's top-selling models globally. With competitive pricing and local production, Tesla has the potential to disrupt India's electric vehicle market and pave the way for future projects. All eyes are now on Elon Musk. Will he approve Giga India, or will Tesla continue relying on an import-dependent strategy?